Hello everybody. Well, since this year has begun, we've had several leaks and uh, rumors and some, I guess, official, kind of official announcements from Hasbro on some stuff coming down the road. Um, rumors about the HasLab, which personally I hope it isn't Dragonfly, but it's really iffy. Uh, some out of the blue images for a Python Patrol Crimson Guard. Uh, and then we have um, a kind of like announcement from the Hasbro team about Agent Helix and some green shirts. But what I want to talk about today briefly is really just about the green shirts. And why is that? Well, because that's the one that I'm most curious about. <laughs> um, so if you saw my last video, that was about who are the mole rats. So I'm not sure if the green shirts are the mole rats at this point. I'm kind of thinking maybe so, but either way, it doesn't matter. They were on my list. So if that is the mole rats, then I'm going to score myself a, uh, a check mark on that, even though they weren't my number one uh, select. Okay, so just to get into it real fast. It seems like green shirts are confirmed for the G.I. Joe classified line, which to me, that's pretty awesome to see a troop builder come for the uh, Joe team. Cobra, they have tons of troop builders. It's like really just kind of built in, I guess. Uh, but for the G.I. Joes, I think a lot of us expected we would see green shirts come down the pike at some point, but I don't think that it was ever anything that was super guaranteed. Um, so I think it is really cool that we're going to see these guys come into the line. So here's where my curiosity starts to uh, spiral out. And I want to throw some ideas out there and also see what you guys think. I think there is a lot that they could do with these green shirts to make them really awesome. But I want to go to what Letty said. A couple points. And I'm paraphrasing here. But... Essentially, he said that it's a troop builder pack and they really loaded it up. So that tells me they probably have a lot of accessories and whatnot. And he said that they would be good for, or they could fight or defend whatever, land and air. So that has me thinking there are several possibilities here. But rather than go through what I think all the possibilities are, I just want to throw out there what... I think would be the coolest setup or the coolest way to go about this. Or in other terms, what would be the best pack in my opinion? And I would love it for you guys to go into the comments and tell me what you think would be best. Okay, so here it is. The pack is supposed to be loaded up and they can fight and land in air. So that tells me there's going to be a ton of accessories. And really, at first I was thinking, well, maybe it's kind of like a ground troop type character and like some kind of airman or some kind of, um, what do you call it? Uh, the guy on the tarmac or something. I don't know what you would call that character or that job, but whatever. But then I started thinking, well, actually, maybe it's not that you know, one is like a pilot and the other one is like, like a uh, infantryman. Maybe it's that they have some deluxe accessory involved. Maybe it is the jump jet pack. It would be really cool if it was the jump jet pack and actually the little landing pad that comes with it. Or maybe it's some kind of missile system that comes with these guys. That it could be like a surface to air missile situation that they come with. So there's that. Then I started thinking, well, wouldn't it be even cooler if these figures came with multiple hands, multiple heads, and uh, multiple accessories where you could like maybe switch out their web gear, uh, etc. So here's where I'm going with it. Wouldn't it be awesome if this Troop Builder 2 pack, it came with two figures, each one with two heads, each one with two sets of hands, each one with two sets of web gear and accessories. So two different types of weapons, etc. 
And then it also came with a third piece, which would be some kind of missile system or a jetpack or something like that. Something where they can defend or fight in the air. Now, here's the part in my little fantasy here <laughs> that takes it to the next level. So depending on what accessories, heads, and hands you put on the characters, they could be basic green shirts, like basic unnamed characters, or you could put certain accessories on a certain head, and then all of a sudden you have one of the original 13. So maybe depending on what head and accessories you put onto the base figure, you can either have a regular green shirt or two regular green shirts, or maybe it's Zap and Short Fuse or Flash and Grand Slam. I think that would be awesome. If that's what they do or something like that, I'm most certainly going to grab two of these things. If it's just green shirts and you can um, get a couple packs and make them look like three or four different guys or whatever, you know, or six different guys, depending on how many packs you get, how many come in the pack, I might, I might grab one or two. I don't know. Really, what would put it over the top for me and make me definitely get at least one, probably two of these packs would be if they put it together the way I just outlined. You can make these characters either look like regular troopers or by switching out their accessories, make them look like two or three of the original 13 characters. And then on top of that, to take it to the next level, to really push this thing over the top, it comes with some kind of MMS or jump jet pack or something like that. Something... Maybe it doesn't necessarily need to be like the whole MMS like we saw back in the day that toes onto something, but maybe some kind of remote missile system, some kind of thing that would fit in the pack. So there's where I am with it. I think that would be totally awesome. Um, that's not to say that they might not come out with something that's nothing like what I just described and is still awesome, but if they do something along the lines of what I just described here, I think that would be amazing. Um, of course, I thought of it. <laughs> but let me know what... I mean, I'm not saying I thought of it, so it's obviously amazing. I mean, I think it's amazing because I thought of it. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. What do you think would be the coolest uh, arrangement for this green shirt troop builder pack? I'm curious what the community thinks. Um, I know that... Um, just because I came up with some idea and I think it's cool, that doesn't mean it's the end all be all. And you guys might have something even doper that I didn't think of. So let me know in the comments. I'll be back at some point for another video. I didn't take any action figure photography this weekend, but I plan to do some more of that pretty soon too. So if you like this content, if you like the figure photography, if you happen to randomly gone to the website and like my crazy web comics you like that too go ahead and subscribe like all the things it helps me uh keep this train moving forward okay everybody have a good one and i will see you next time thanks